other gestures that you can do are taking the tips of your fingers and pressing down like this and you get what's called the Acer Ring which uh, is a little interface that gives you access to several different touch enabled applications including touch video photo and music which lets you access those multimedia files on your notebook there's also the touch browser which when you activate it brings up a browser in two screens like this so you can scroll back and forth like that you can also switch it to a single pane if you want like that and another thing that you can also do is called web clips so you can take you can select an area of the screen like that and then copy it to another one of the apps called my journal and in my journal which appears down here then it saves the web page uh, as almost like a graphical bookmark, if you will. Uh, you can resize it then and move it over here. And then you can come back to it uh, whenever you want to and look at the page. However, it doesn't save this page here it only, it, as, as it looks. It only saves it as a bookmark. But you can still access it. Um, they're still, the links are still active, so you can press that, for example, and that page will show up over here. Going back to the Acer ring, it is pressing your fingers again on the screen. Another one of the apps is called Social Jogger, and this is probably one of the neater ones. It gives you access to MySpace, I mean, excuse me, to Facebook, YouTube, and Flickr. And if you have accounts with all these registers, you can, you can view your friends uh, feeds as well as YouTube videos and um, Flickr photos. It's a nice little tool. It lets you see everything at once, but we wish you could customize it further with apps such as Twitter. Cut it out of them. As you can see, both screens are touch enabled, which is a nice little feature. And the icons are nice and large, so you can use just your finger. Once again, you go back to the Acer ring here, and you can also use the center area to draw gestures to say quick launch apps. So, if we were to, I we pre and you can create your own as well. So one of them we did was by drawing an S, and it'll automatically launch Skype for you, and you can set it up for any other apps that you want. It's a nice little feature, um, and this is the sort of innovation that we like to see. Uh, Overall, also inside the notebook, the more mundane aspects of it, the Iconia has a Core i5 Intel processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and Intel HD graphics. Unfortunately, its battery life is rather limited. We only got two and a half hours using the laptop battery test, um, and the speakers are only so-so. Uh, as a notebook itself, this is very innovative. We don't know how big of an adoption it will be, but we like what Acer has done with regards to the software and with experimentation. The Acer Iconia will cost $1,199 when it's on sale, and look for our full review online. This is Mike Prosper with Laptop Magazine.